as you can see, week one, those helmets, no stickers on them. The Seminoles have played, scored a lot of points, had a lot of big plays. So now come the Tomahawks. I'm Lane Hurt, along with Matt Biondi, senior student manager here in the equipment room. Matt, it's Tomahawk time. You guys are starting to put them on. What's the, the process like with the, with the Tomahawks? Um, every Friday, we come in each uh, student manager has a position group that we're responsible for so we each come in get our game helmets from players um, wipe them down get them cleaned up wax them up and then we go through a process of putting the tomahawks on which is kind of special for all of us including the players as well yeah, like you said you at, at the beginning you're not just throwing these tomahawks on there is a, a rhyme and reason to how you put them on what is the, the strategy especially early in the season when you're putting them on um, we like to keep it in a diamond shape. We start with the back of the helmet and work our way up and then start at the front of the helmet and kind of try and connect it. And then once the diamond connects, kind of just grow from there. If you look at a helmet like that one, Kelvin Benjamin, you can see how they're all over the place. But um, So it just varies as the season goes on and on and as they make more plays throughout the year, we just add and add and add and then eventually they add up. How long of a process is it to, uh, to get these tomahawks done on a Friday? It can take a long time for somebody like our offensive line manager. He has to replace them every week, so he has to take them on and off, and that can take a long time. Luckily for me, my guys' helmets don't get banged around too much, so I get to leave them on, and they stay on, and usually they're in good shape each week, and I just kind of add to it. But for a helmet, I'd say it takes about 15, 20 minutes to add. Um, once you kind of get the shape and how to lay them down, it's pretty easy, so it doesn't take as long. And as the season goes on, it gets easier because the format widens, and there's not you don't have to be so detailed, I guess you could say. So you take the they, you take them off every game for guys like you said the, the the linemen when they get all banged up. Yep, our offensive line manager actually has a big sheet of paper that he takes them on and off each week to keep preserve them um, so that they don't get ruined, and then the ones that are ruined get thrown away obviously and replace each week and then we add new ones. You kind of alluded to earlier said it means a lot to the players but it means a lot to you guys I mean this is a pretty iconic image in college football what does it mean to, to, to you guys to be part of this process? Uh, it definitely means something to us as equipment managers we take great pride in how our team looks which obviously our helmets are very tradition rich and you know the tomahawks and spears and things like that people really examine and look at that stuff so we take it you know very serious in terms of you know making sure it looks right, it's done the right way. Um, we critique each other, which is always fun because you know it's almost like a competition in and of itself. We just try and you know make sure everyone's looks the same or has the same spacing and things like that. So, and obviously the, the players notice how many tomahawks they have oh, every yeah. week. Oh yeah, it's a big deal. It's a very big deal. You'll, you'll hear about it at practice Monday sometimes, or Saturdays you'll get out on the field and they'll say, man, I deserve more than that, things like that. Well, thanks for joining us, Matt. Yes, Appreciate sir. that. And hopefully the Seminoles will have a few tomahawks this week, and by the end of the season, hopefully they're all filled with those awesome tomahawks. Yeah.